Hey everybody. So Bill and Pat bought this brand new Harbor Freight Atlas battery operated string trimmer. The only problem was once they used up the string the first time, they couldn't figure out how to get it reloaded. So we went over to help them out. Hope you enjoyed everybody. Have a good one. I can tell you how to take it out. How do you take it out? Uh, this is my dad's brand new uh, right here, here. Atlas Press these two battery down. operated uh -huh. trimmer. Back. Have you got it out we yet? We can't figure oh, out yeah. how to get oh, the yeah. string thing to work well, on. I was going to let you. Yeah, you could look at those. <laughs> <laughs> Might tell you something interesting, like yeah. how to do it. <laughs> God bless it. What are you trying to do, Pops? Trying to get that cover off. Oh. It, it, uh, it just presses down, like, like right there. You got to... Let me see. <laughs> So that thing right there pushes in and it pops out. Yeah. And stay behind. Do they all push in at the same time? Well, I don't know. Like it. There it is. There it is. Are you so? Okay. Nothing to it. Put the string. I'll, I'll get you to this point. Okay. I cut these already cut. Okay. Put that in there and pull it to half. Well, wait a minute. Let me find the thing where it says line in, because that's what it says to do. Yeah. Line in. Okay. Yeah. It ain't going to make any difference. Yeah, it apparently oh, it does. Won't. You'll see in a minute, it don't make no difference. But I'll let you figure it out from there. What I can't do is turn it. Okay, so it goes there. Okay, so the way this trimmer works is that line goes through the spool and then sticks out on both ends. You have to line it up with the little grommet guides down there on the sides. But then uh, with all that line sticking out, you just wind it back up, which is different than anything I've seen before. But it did seem to work pretty decent once we got it figured out. So anyway, your mileage may vary. And you got the lighter. I tried to do it with that. Uh -huh. I think that's harder than that. They're both 95s. Oh. Should be able to pull it. Yeah, you should be able to. <laughs> this ain't, that's what I was going to say. This ain't down. Well, it needs to come up because it didn't get the, there the string in there. So then. When you put the spool on, the string has to go in those metal guides on each side before you click the spool down. And then, according to instructions, you just turn the knob counterclockwise the way the arrows show on the bottom of it. You son of a bitch, it wouldn't do that for me. I had the red string in. I couldn't turn it. It ain't easy to turn. <laughs> that thing, oh, hold the thing. Uh, we can't put a, something, they don't have a stopper on it. Stopper. A thing that you can put in there and it won't oh, turn. I don't know. Let's look at it, see. I don't see one. I didn't either. Uh, it almost needs a freaking wrench. <laughs> Uh, 
That is not easy on your hands. Yeah, I see it. Wow. Oh, Jesus. The All right. are hey. very sparse. How about uh, you know them wrenches that, that uh, turn a have a rope on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. strap wrench. Yeah. You got one? Hanging hey, up there. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Uh, there is one somewhere. That's not funny anymore. Uh, Gee. It's not funny, but somewhere. I, bet I, I bet it'll work. Oh, my goodness. It a lot of choices here. Strap rope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Because I can't. How about, I thought if we greased it, but if we greased it. Yeah, then it'd be even harder to hold on to. Do. Yeah. Uh, what I was thinking of is those things for opening jars. Oh, here, Rob's got one. Move. <laughs> Step back. Where the hell is it? Right behind you. Tall person behind you. Yeah. Well, there's the strap rope. Yep, that's too big. So let's try this. No, but I might, I might have a smaller one of those. My cat is on the prowl. She called okay. lizard yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, no. And she called a snake yesterday. A black snake. A little black snake. Oh, no. I, I know. I'm there we go. Not to kill the black snake. Well, hi, in the world. It's one of those rubber strap wrench things for oil cans. I understand cans. that, but why would you need something like that? And why is it Because there is... There is no other way. Because uh, really you didn't buy them. a steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, five hundred more dollars, I might go down and give it. Yeah. yeah. You have to do this a couple times. There's no way I can do that. Be too... Hopefully, yeah. Don't be hitting fences with your wire <laughs> with yeah, your string. Uh, right well, there. we're putting in different string. I had that red. I could not turn that red in, and I tried to do it exactly like you did it. Oh yeah. Yeah, right there. That's it is. probably as far in as you need to be, baby. Yeah, five inches. It's we didn't end up straight, but well, that's just right. That's all right. Oh, no, 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 no waste. I it. wouldn't waste it. Well, it's going to cut off as soon as it hits there. Well, well that's all right. It'll second. just cut off on its own. Yeah. Measure it out. There you go. Click. Okay. There it is. Now you'll and you'll have to extend it because this one's too short. Yeah, but feel the rubber in there. I didn't try that. Feel that. Oh, yeah. I could not turn. Well, this turns more, but it feels like it might be stronger. It looks stronger like wire. Over... It feels like wire. Yeah, it might be stronger it's like overall. Yeah. It's a very solid plastic. Uh, well, don't lose that little rubber wrench. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the, the other tool that came with it. I don't know what. Uh, I think I it all is tight right there. All right. Yeah. Now, let, let me show you the great part about this. Mm -hmm. Come here, It's Patty. easy to start, right? Come here. It's insanely easy to start. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the going to get the battery, Dad. Oh. It's electric, Bill. All right. So I'm going to... need a battery. I already oh. showed her this part. We got a little piece of plastic over there. Where that was. Well, they don't want it scratched up. That's nice. Yeah. Now, what you doing you where you're at? There you are. Oh, because I don't even trust you with that. Uh, when it starts spinning, you're going to have to tap it down and get some more string out of the I other will. side. Or it's going to have mm -hmm. a problem. Or we're going to have to redo that. <laughs> That's the best part of this. Step back, Pops. Got it upside down. There you go. Uh, turn that for there you go. Okay. Wait a minute. That strength just cut off. Yeah. That's right. what I'm supposed to do. That's what oh, okay. To do. Yeah, but you got to tap it down and get more out. That's both of them. I can see them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you better tap it down a couple more times. Get more string out of that other side. Cause... Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go, people. More work for the weary. Here you go. Yeah, but it's a nicer tool to do it with. Oh, it's wonderful. Easier yeah. to start. 
because I got <laughs> onto my shoulder and I don't have, I can balance it. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to hold I on to it the whole time. It. Yes, it's wonderful. The best part of it is, is I don't have to worry about adjusting that strap at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's rather weird when an old woman wants a, a weed whip. Well, I don't well, know. I don't well, you got tired of your stuff not being trimmed. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, I, my, that'd be my guess. <laughs> See, we lived here 13 years. I've trimmed around that house every time. Yes. Yep. But now you've done it your last time, huh? <laughs> well, you bought her a tool she likes and can use easy. I mean, I can understand it. Yep. That, I, I like that. That's a really good idea. Yeah. It's, it's only a, about half as fast as the it's not, gas yeah, fired ones. But yeah, that's but okay. I was say, and, does it need to be any faster? No, not for me. It doesn't need to be. Yeah, I can I can get everything done that I want to get done at, at minimal time, and it's so easy to do, and it's not heavy. And how did much did that one wire, cost? Those wire uh, ties. Hey, Pops. What? How much did that one cost? The whole outfit was $534 out the to door. You got the chainsaw. Oh, nice. And uh, you got the... Uh, and this. Uh, oh, chainsaw and blower the and the weed and the whip. the blower is wonderful. So nice. You can, you can really... It has enough power and you can adjust it with your pressure. Uh-huh. And it's it's just wonderful. I, I can do I can do this whole barn and keep all the barns clean without minimal right. effort. Nice. Awesome. And how long does your battery last? Uh, I don't... I'm not... Tested have it never, that have out it never run one all the way out? I've run it okay. out. Okay. How, how long have you ran it? Uh, I was working out there for about an hour and a half. Okay. And the battery was still charged. And I charged it, and it took uh, took about 45 minutes for a full charge. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming that that's probably, I was probably at the end of my at, at edge of your time, so an yeah. hour and a half. Yeah. That's plenty of time. Nobody yeah. wants to walk around with a weed whip longer than that anyway. <laughs> uh, no, my back's not going to take that. But I like it, like I said, because I can balance it across my shoulders. And if one hand gets tired, I yeah. can use the other. And yeah. yeah, you can let go. That's nice. Yeah, I can let go. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it was uh, a good investment. For years to come, mm -hmm. I, don't like I don't know how long they'll last. I have no idea. But well, I'm going to get a new battery, another battery, extra battery, just for backup, uh, and keep it charged. So that just mark them A and B and make sure you rotate, exactly. so they stay alive. Yeah. That's what. That's what I do with the other batteries for the... Uh, That's what I do with my DeWalt batteries, too. I I have them all marked, so I know to change to a different one each well, I, time. I, periodically, I just give them a charge. Oh, do you? I don't do yeah, that. I, I just, do that. Uh, I just, just use them. them. I do all at the same time, mm -hmm. give them a charge, them off, then I know approximately how long they've been uh, without a charge. Cool. On those, do the same thing with this. Yeah, on those lithium batteries, they say you never let it go all the way to zero. Exactly. Then they don't come yeah, out. exactly. Yeah, I don't oh. want to run it out. No. Yeah. I heard that just the opposite. No, don't run them all the way down. Mm -hmm. I run mine down. If Once they hit one bar, I keep using them but if I'm still working. But if not, I take them off and charge them. Yeah. That yeah. way. I cell phone. You don't want to ever right. run it down. And I don't know which one's true, but I've been doing that, and they've been staying alive really good. So Let's YouTube it. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> find out. We'll find out. Well, yeah, that's what that's it's there for. Probably should. But, uh, no, I... Works for me. You love it? Yeah, I, re I really do love it. Yeah. Excellent. And it takes a lot of work off of him. That is important. Well, yeah, because he yeah. does all the mowing and, and uh, he, now he'll do all the big trees. And stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's, but I'll do the rocks and garden boxes and. So we went over to help Bill and Pat with their new Harbor Freight Atlas line trimmer, and turned into kind of a how-to reload the line as well as maybe a review of it. 
They sure seem to like that thing, and we sure appreciate having them across the street. Have a good one, y'all.